Let us now try to understand what are mutually exclusive and which events are not mutually exclusive, right? So the question here is, determine whether events are mutually exclusive or not, then find probability, right? So these four options are probability to randomly draw a 10 or a spades from a standard deck of 52 cards. Part F is, this is in continuation to previous question where we discussed about dependent and independent events, right? So the combination of dependent, independent events and mutually, mutually exclusive or not gives us a good picture about compound events, right? Now that will prepare you to find or to solve questions on probability of compound events. Now part F is, probability to roll 5 or even number when the die is rolled. 6 is probability of rolling at least 4 or an even number with die. H is probability of randomly drawing a picture card or an ace from a standard deck of 52 cards. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer the questions and then look into my suggestions. Now let's go through these questions and figure out if these events are mutually exclusive or not. E. Probability to randomly draw a 10 or a spades from a random deck of 52 cards. So is it mutually exclusive or not? So here we do have OR operation, right? That's very good. So when there is an OR operation, we are looking for something which is within two different groups, right? Like this. But as we discussed earlier, even if it is OR, there are a lot of ANDs in between. We need to only figure out whether this structure is like this or this structure is not connected, like, like this, right? If it is like this, then it is mutually exclusive. If it is like this, it is not, right? Now, when it says probability of randomly draw 10 or a space. Now, you know, in cards we have, there are four tens and one of them is 10 of spades. So we do have one number common, right? We do have one number common, which is 10 of spades. And therefore, it is not a mutually exclusive case. So I will write here, not mutually exclusive, right? So that means there is something common, right? Now, we know it is not mutually exclusive, and so the probability will be, or means combination of the two, take away the common cases. Now, probability of randomly drawing 10 is what? So, probability of drawing 10 and probability of spades minus probability of 10 of spades, right? That is the answer, correct? I hope you can do it now. Let me give you the answer. You do the calculation. Probability of 10 is 4 out of 52 plus spades. There are 13 cards of spades in 52 minus is 110 of space, right? So we'll take away that. So this is the answer for this particular question, correct? So whenever we have an event which is not mutually exclusive, there are some common elements. We have to take away those common elements. Reason is, when you're combining this, let us say when you add, let me use different colors here. So when you try to add event A, that means this, then you have already included the common one. Now if I add to this, this set, then I am additionally adding that event. Therefore, it is necessary for me to take it out, right? So that is the reason. Next question is, probability to roll 5 or even number when digit is rolled. Well, fortunately, these are exclusive events, mutually exclusive, right? Since if you roll 5, then 5 is not even, right? And these are even numbers. 5 is not even. So there is nothing common between 5 and even numbers, correct? So probability to roll 5 or even, or means plus, right? Probability of rolling 5 and probability of rolling even number, right? Now, what are the even numbers when you roll a dice? So there is your dice. So the numbers you can get are 1 to 6, right? So the even numbers basically... When you're saying even numbers, then we are talking about numbers like 2, 4, and 6. So there are three of them, correct? So the probability here is 
1 out of 6 for ruling 5 and 3 out of 6 for this even number. So just 3 out of 6. And just combine them, you get 4 over 6 and that is 2 over 3 as your answer, right? 2 over 3 is your answer and as we know, this is mutually exclusive, right? There is no connection in between. Now the next question here is probability of rolling at least 4 or an even number. At least 4 means what? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So that is the first set. Probability of rolling all these or even number. Even number is what? 2, 4 or 6. You can see there are a lot of common sets. Here, right? So 2 is common and 4 is common. Do you see that? So we have to remove these combinations, right? They are repeated. Therefore, this is not mutually exclusive. Do you see that? Not mutually exclusive. Now, I'll leave this question for you to answer. Answer it out, okay? H is probability of randomly drawing a picture card or an ace from a standard deck of 52. Now, if you have a standard deck of 52, what are the picture cards? The picture cards are Jack, Queen, and King, right? So these are the picture cards, and Ace is like A, right? There's nothing common in them. Since there is nothing common in them, it's like kind of like this, right? So these are two mutually exclusive cases, right? And therefore, the probability will be what? Just add their probabilities. Add the probabilities of getting colored cards with pictures and card with A's. And the answer is 4 over 52 for A's and these are 3 of them, right? 12 over 52. 12 over 52 plus 4 over 52, add them up and get your answer in the simplified form, correct? Now let's get back to question number G. I hope you got the answer. So what is the probability of rolling at least 4? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 out of 6, right? So the answer here is 4 out of 6 plus, what is the probability of rolling these three numbers? 3 out of 6, right? Minus, how many are common? 2 and 4 are common, right? So minus 2 over 6. So that gives you the answer for that question, correct? So that is how we are going to solve these questions. And I think that gives you a fairly good idea about finding probability of compound events, right? And now we have some more questions which are in more depth. I hope this exercise helps you to get a command over probability of compound events. Well, in this set of videos, we have limited ourselves up to grade 10, 11, and we have not covered the topic of permutations and combinations, since in many schools, permutations and combinations are not being taught. So we'll have separate set of videos where we will take probability and also discuss permutation and combination cases. Okay, thank you and all the best.